let's say, looking for uh, improved processing performance. Uh, I was talking before about the digital injection ratio. If you are considering the combo ratio since the beginning, in 1987 we were working with three uh, injection. Uh, now, uh, then we moved up to uh, five. Now we are working with nine injection for each cylinder, for each stroke. And uh, we are uh, merging from the uh, electro-hydraulic viewpoint, the injection, in order to smooth the heat release. Uh, remember that uh, the, the noise, the typical noise of the, of, the, of the diesel engine is proportional to the derivative of the heat release of the, of the tire. So it is important to smooth this and uh, to, re to release in a, in, a, in a gradual way the fuel, uh, fuel reaching the best uh, point for the, for, for the combustion. So we are collapsing, uh, the, 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 the injection are collapsing here. Another important point for the diesel, uh, in order to control the EGR, which is important for the combustion process, is that we are uh, widely using uh, the cylinder pressure measurement. Uh, this is a, a very important index, the MFP, the, the mass fraction bar. So we are looking for the time where we have burned 50% of the charge. In order to control, and this is done in order to control uh, the in-cylinder pressure uh, and uh, to get, um, let's say, a, 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 a smooth behavior of, of the engine across the, the entire lifetime. Again, this is uh, uh, asking for uh, more processing capabilities because we are basically opening a, an acquisition window here in order to uh, understand where we are, when we are reaching this point. Uh, we discussed about uh, the integration of uh, diesel and Moutier. This is the next generation where we are integrating, where, where we are integrating nine uh, injection for diesel and two commands for the Moutier, one for the EGR. We will have a, a dual lobe system in the, for the can. Uh, all together, imagine that already now uh, in production uh, for, the, for both the Moutier and the Moutier, uh, the second generation, we are uh, uh, close to 80% of the processing power capability. So this means that we will certainly exceed the um, what is available right now. Another point which is uh, extremely interesting is, is this one. If you are taking a look uh, over the last two years in terms of uh, patents that have been filed from the most uh, important uh, automotive supplier, car makers in the world, you will see that uh, most of them are related to uh, sophisticated control mechanisms to detect when some electro valves are drifting, aging, uh, uh, whatever you like. Uh, uh, and this is a very important point. Uh, and because we don't want to add the sophisticated sensors, which are expensive. Uh, so we are trying to, to, to get with all the signal processing uh, techniques and using a uh, sophisticated model, uh, electromagnetic model of the injector, for instance, to get some signature when uh, the injector is opening, when the injector is closing. This is uh, basically related so to some uh, mathematical operation of the signal you, you are reading in any case. So again, you have to open a window. In that area, there is a clear signature here uh, that if the injector is open. Again, here there is a clear signature that the injector is closed. And this is uh, extremely complicated for the microcontroller viewpoint. But this is again a must in order to control the drift and especially the aging of the injector over the years. Few words about uh, our strategies in terms of, uh, um, we are calling it uh, uh, IP building blocks. Since the beginning of our uh, experience in the power train more, more or less 10 years ago, uh, 20 years ago, we understood that it was important to protect our properties, intellectual properties in the power train. And we, we, we thought about uh, using a hardware solution for doing that. So we believe that those IP structure uh, can be seen as an 
natural ex the extension of the advanced electron vector, which are related in the design of new power system. Basically, we designed the, the, the first common rail injector, we designed the, the multi-air actuator, we designed the twin clutch transmission system, and at the very same time, we designed some specific solution proprietary to us, already thought for the production with a high degree of flexibility. And we embedded in those solutions our know-how. Uh, that was the day when we signed the, the, the development agreement with Bosch for the technological transfer of the common rail. I had a, a short trouser at that time. <laughs> uh, and uh, already uh, in March 1994, we were talking about ASIC implementation for timing function and have the di diagnostic of the first Comorel injector. That was the first issue developed. It was six liter big, so it was really quite impressive at that, that, that time. And then we did it with Bosch. That was the first, uh, uh, let's say, block diagram, and uh, that was uh, the, 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 and those were the first, uh, let's say, pattern for the finite state machine that was implemented with Bosch for the uh, common rail injection control. <laughs> then, uh, some years after, for the first generation of the multi-jet technology, we developed a, a digital custom IC, able to control either five injectors for the five-cylinder common rail system, or uh, five injector, four injectors plus the high-pressure pump. Uh, so far, we have, sold, we have sold more than four million of those parts, this is also running on the small diesel engine, uh, which, is, which has been jointly produced by us and GM. We developed something similar with ST Microelectronics some years after for the compressed natural gas application, which is really popular in Europe. We believe that this is a good technology, a viable technology for CO2 uh, reduction in Europe. And last but not least, uh, this has been a great story. Uh, some years ago, uh, we started the development of a so-called uh, MGS family. The first one was developed at the time when we were working in General Motors. The first one, the first device is fully owned by them. The second one, the, the, the small brother, is fully uh, owned by us. Uh, the digital core here, we have two digital cores running in parallel, more or less like the DPU are familiar with the free scale processor. We are running, uh, let's say, in parallel, controlling in a very flexible way uh, two electron plates. Uh, this is our ID. And uh, the analog part was designed by uh, the, the, the free scale colleagues in Toulouse. This is manufactured in Phoenix. Uh, and uh, this is the result. We have been able, with the very same architecture, the very same micro microcontroller, and using the very same uh, custom IC to uh, enter in production with the multi-jet system, controlling uh, the, the common rail injectors, with the multi-air, controlling the, the multi-air valves, and uh, even the, the twin clutch system, which is now going to be released uh, in Europe. So, three completely different applications, the very same but the very same architecture. And uh, uh, again, we have been able to, to develop uh, those products uh, in a very short development time. Again, this is a pattern, uh, this is the timing pattern for the, for the, for the, for the diesel system. Uh, so we can realize a, a full set of different timing patterns. And uh, we are also providing the real-time diagnosis uh, on the operator, this is extremely important. On the multi air, uh, the, the pattern is uh, a bit different, but what is also remarkable is this approach. We are in some way offloading the main microprocessor for uh, this kind of, uh, we are calling it the V-shaped detection. This is the moment when the valves is fully open. This is done uh, in a complete, uh, completely independent manner by the FGS. And uh, uh, this is really offloading, offloading the, the main processor for a lot of calculations. So that there is a lot of intelligence inside. In the, in the twin clutch system, uh, again, here we are providing the littering for the control of the valves. And uh, we have also 
uh, after, let's say, a long uh, safety analysis of the entire system, we are, uh, we are also providing a kind of safe uh, graceful performance degradation. Uh, because of, 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 of the way uh, the MGS are connected. So we are, we are always able to control the, the two clutches uh, in a way uh, that at least we can have a kind of limp bulb functionality. So, going to the conclusion. Uh, we believe that the, 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 the vehicle will remain the solution for the individual mobility needs over the next years. Uh, we, also, we are also convinced that we will see a kind of breakthrough in the car segmentation at least in Europe, with different models introduced in order to address our needs in the downtown. Uh, the development of future and better control system requires to control at the same time uh, the quality issues, the safety, the reliability, Durability, the availability which is manufacturing from your side, and the cost, which is uh, always a challenge. All those items have to be addressed at the very same time. This is another point. So we have seen uh, a tremendous pressure on our shoulder to reduce the, the development cycle of the entire automobile. At the moment, in Fiat, we are running at more or less two years for developing a brand new vehicle. This is a disaster for us. Uh, so, uh, we need to shrink the development cycle even of the, of the, of, of the electronics. And um, this means that uh, the use, re reusability and uh, a kind of easy migration of hardware and software component uh, is mandatory to achieve those targets. We are really convinced that uh, a tight interaction, uh, interaction among the key players, the car makers, the automotive supplier, and the silicon makers is essential uh, to, uh, <coughs> to sustain the market needs with, with the, 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 the requested product within the expected time scale and the quality levels. We have demonstrated here that uh, uh, the nice cooperation with Freescale has been really beneficial in, in order to address our uh, products over the years. Uh, we have seen that automotive application uh, certainly will require new performances for the next generation of control systems. This is uh, uh, clearly uh, understood. And uh, uh, finally, we believe that the electronics is really uh, the key enabling technology for the vehicle innovation over the, the next decade and uh, has been uh, one of the uh, enabling drivers uh, for us as because we have been able for three years in our to be the best one in Europe in order to, uh, in, in terms of CO2 emission, and the electronics has certainly played a fundamental role in that. Thanks a lot for the attention.